With this video, we will be doing a shocking story or FN Riaz. And if you want to help the channel and the content that we're making, please help support our merchandise. The link is in the description. And if you didn't hit that like button, make sure you hit the like button. Trying to get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the Yayo. Get the Yayo. Studio. Who is this guy that came out of nowhere, demolished pool veteran champions, dominated international tournaments, took all championship How much was it checked for? Champions, dominated so international tournaments. 100,000? I, I could use that. that. Well, I could Clemson use that. Took all championship titles and recognized as a Hall of Famer. A well deserved spot for one of the most celebrated and charismatic players who ever wielded a Q stick. Wow. The greatest pool player to have ever lived. Wow. It's no other than Efren Bata Reyes. <laughs> Just. Efren Manalang Reyes, nicknamed the Magician and Bara, is a Filipino professional pool player, a winner of over 70 international titles. Wow. Reyes was the first player to win Damn. world championships in two different disciplines wow. in pools. Among his numerous titles, Reyes is a four-time World 8-Ball Champion, wow. the 1999 WPA World 9-Ball Champion, a three-time US Open winner, <coughs> a two-time oh, World Pool time. League winner, and a 14-time Derby City Classic winner, and wow. a two-time World Cup Champion. By defeating Earl Strickland in the inaugural Color of Money event in 1996, Reyes took home the largest single event purse in pool history. Wow. Many analysts, fans, and current and former players consider Reyes to be the greatest pool player of all time. So he did go a pool. Yeah. He's that a guy. veteran <laughs> professional American pool player, Billy In Cordana, who is a one pocket Hall of Famer once stated that Reyes was indisputably the best player in the wow. world, especially when you consider all games. He can play any game as well as anyone, maybe wow. better than anyone. Mm. In my opinion, we're watching probably the greatest player in my lifetime, and I've been watching pool for the better part of 40 years. Wow, saying a lot. Reyes was born in Mexico, Pampanga, in the Philippines in 1954. He moved to Manila with him. I just found something out. I didn't know there was a Mexico City inside of the Filipinos, so it just told me something. Yeah, that was something I learned on the spot, too. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that was interesting. Rex. His family at the age of five. In Manila, to be able to cope up, nice. he worked as a billiard attendant at his uncle's billiard hall, where he started learning the various skill sports. He started playing pool at the age of eight. Because wow. he was not tall enough to reach the pool table, <laughs> he played while standing on Coca-Cola cases that he moved around. Wow. At night, while he was dreaming of playing pool, the pool table was his bed. No. Wow. At the age of 12, he started playing money games. Oftentimes, after attending school, his manager would wait for him outside to take him to pool halls to play and hustle, even until dawn. Efren only finished second year high school education and decided to dedicate his life in becoming a professional billiard player. Why not? Reyes is often referred to as Bata, which is Tagalog for kid because there was another older pool player named Efren when he was young. Wow. To distinguish between the two, he was referred to as Efren Bata. That makes sense. You don't want to be out here getting confused with other people. You want your name to stand out 
Um, you want to be known for just the only person having a name, and they got two of them to get a little confusion. So I can understand um, why he did that. It's kind of smart. Yeah, and it's, it definitely stood out. And yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, the last thing you want to be is a shadow of anybody. Yeah. No, we don't want that. Yeah. Gumbling from a young age, Reyes played three cushion billiards in the 1960s and the 1970s. Three cushion billiards, sometimes called three cushion carom or the angle game, is a popular form of carom billiards. What is carom billiards? Carom billiards, sometimes called carambol, is a family of few sports, generally played on cloth-covered pocket-less tables. You know, I have never seen a pool table without pockets. I didn't even know that existed. So that's the second thing I learned yeah. um, from from this. I never even heard of this. I don't even know about this style and how to play it. I was like kind of confused uh, when he was doing it. I was like, what is he doing? I, I heard people clapping. I'm like, I don't see no balls going there. <laughs> like, yeah, am I missing something? Yeah. Um, but it's just a different style of playing. It's definitely now I know that style exists. I'm going to have to check into it to see how it's officially played so I can understand it a little bit better. Yeah, something new every day. Facts. In its simplest form, the object of the game is to score points or counts by caroming one's own cue ball off both the opponent's cue ball and the object ball. On the oh, shot. I get it. You gotta hit both balls. With In this play, right. Efren hits the yellow ball, then contacts the, red the rail, too. and caroms yeah, the red ball. Right, gotcha. He scored a point. You gotta hit both of them. All right, cool. Makes sense now. <laughs> In here, we can see Efren Reyes playing excellent on Karom Billiards. Mm. You gotta be nice to do that. That ain't that ain't easy. Chill, this is crazy. He is also an expert on this area. Mm. Mm, respect. Game. Yeah, respect. Going back to three cushion billiards, which is a more difficult sport in which the object of the game is to carom the cue ball off both object balls That's crazy. and contact the rail cushions at least three times. At mm. least three times before the last object ball. Wow. A point is scored for each successful carom. In most fun. shots, the cue ball hits the object ball one time each, although hitting them any number of times is allowed, as long as both He's not going to come back and hit the red ball. He's not that nice. What? The nicest. Dang! This play, a friend hits the red ball, contacts three cushions before hitting the yellow ball, scoring a point. After establishing himself as a winner, Reyes was discovered by promoters, giving him the opportunity to compete in big time tournaments. Because of his knowledge and experience in three cushion billiards, Reyes is widely regarded as the pioneer in the art of kicking, a technique for a player to escape from a snooker. A snooker is a position in which the player cannot directly strike the object ball with the cue ball. And See, I'm about to, I'm about to watch his videos and start learning some stuff, get my pool game yeah, up. You're yeah, going to learn. You might as well learn from the best, and he's the best, he's so I'm going to start watching best. him. Because even when I was impressed with the cushion thing, that is so difficult. I couldn't even try to attempt that. It would be, if they told me the rules, I'd be like, I can't play. I'm not that nice to even attempt that. But shouts out to him. But that looks like, when I was looking at that, I was like, I would think that would be a technique you would do to learn how to play the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to need those shots. Right. But then realizing the difficulty of it is like, nah, yeah. that's not how you learn. <laughs> yeah. That's take time. And he's, and he's nice. Yeah, he's good. Neither land the opponent in a counter snooker or pocket the object ball. In this case, Efren got snookered because the tree ball is blocked by the five orange ball. His only option is to kick one rail and hit the tree ball. In this case, he even pocketed the target ball.
In this play, Efren got snookered because the tree ball is blocking the yellow ball. But watch how Efren solved the problem. Sure. I didn't even see that. Well, I didn't see that. <laughs> Here are some of the most epic kick shots of the magician ever recorded mm. on video. I don't know, like, how you gonna get that? No! <laughs> he make it look so easy. He doesn't mind easy. playing a safety game. <laughs> No, he loves this part of the, uh, the game right here. He, he hardly was. ever misses the ball when he kicks at it. Misses hitting it. Oh my goodness, you <laughs> There you go, he kicked the one ball in. Yeah. You just seen it. He That's just do ridiculous. He walk away like it's nothing. Like, yeah, like just another day at the park. This is what I do. <laughs> yeah. Hardly ever misses the ball when he kicks at it. Misses hitting it. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, you <laughs> There you go, he took the one ball in. You can hear the so ooze in the eyes, and this is a hard crowd Outside. to impress. Probably the most knowledgeable of any of the crowds in the country. Look at this shot. One ball right in the side without even touching a rail. That was That's crazy. Mm. 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 Yo, how are you gonna get that thing way over there? I'd love to see that. This one is an unbelievable shot by the magician given the circumstances. And he's shooting that way? What the heck? What the? Yeah, I'm, that. I'm yeah, the same way. That was appropriate. I never I was seen like, that. Are you serious? I never seen that even being attempted before. Like, how did the hell did you do that? That one was smooth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was smooth. It's one of those. You can drop your cup. You see that? Uh, so I seen a lot of things, but that yeah. one. That lucky, lucky, time. baby. Yeah. No, he went three. Good shot. Look at how Barry hit that. Nah. You oh, got another one. Right. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, Bring it back, DJ. Uh. Efren and Bobby Pickle. And this is round four action. Uh, I know Efren is undefeated in nine ball. Uh, I think Bobby is too, although I'm not sure. So uh, I'm uh, huffing and puffing. Oh my God, Luis. But it's good to be back with you, by the way. My name's Ken Schumann. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm being uh, ably assisted in the background by Merlin Glow at the back of the Good shot. Good shot. Nine to nine. That's what he's doing. He's uh, he's too deep. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't think he wanted that. To this shot is an example of a counter snooker or a kick safe yeah, shot by ball. Efren Reyes. He is snookered because the green ball is blocking the four pink ball. Watch how Efren plays two rail kick safe. Now this is no accident, ladies and gentlemen. This is no accident. Did you see that? Yeah, but if it doesn't take the left side of rail away when he does it, Efren's got an easy kick. There he goes. Perfect. So you make sure the person will have a shot. In this case, the cue ball is married on the pink ball. But watch how Efren performs a very difficult on rail kick shot. You got a rail? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> <laughs> no, you know you're doing something when your opponent they're that you face it, you. they're clapping for you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you're proud of I think I've seen that before. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, good shot. He wanted the ones. Travel towards the four. Wow, what a shot by our friend Hassan. He chose a more difficult path. He said he chose a more difficult path. <laughs> to you, it That's is. What he not always there. says if he catches the cue ball right here. Notice you watch when he kicks at it. If the cue ball hits there, he should hit the one ball. He'll hit it pretty hard. He, oh, got great it. Shot. Oh, goodness. And look at that. Look at that shot. There is no real great shot left for Varner. Notice the shot. He got right where he wanted to. Perfect touch. Caught the point, he hits the one very thin. He got kind of lucky here. He hits it real thin and he brings the cue ball back behind the sixth one. In this play, watch Efren play a real first kick save. <laughs> Another very difficult yet satisfying two rail kick save by the magician. The magician. It's a good nickname. This kicking ability and God given talent is a game changer, and this is why Efren sees shots that a normal pool player could not perceive. This is the reason why they call him the magician. Before Reyes came over to the US, no one there had seen anything like his kicking skill set. Wow. <laughs> to look at him. Hey, how am I gonna like, beat this guy? Really how can I beat this guy? Who will ever forget this history making winning shot by Efren Reyes? He snookered himself and his only escape is a two rail Z shot. This one is a do or die shot for the magician. Two. No, I just he see. immediately kicks balls. You know, he could nip the five. In other words, going to the left-hand cushion, just missing the seven ball, nipping the five and coming three cushions back down the table. I think he won twice. I don't like this shot because you're gonna, you, you don't get no movement, like you said. You, you might miss this ball. Two! Wow. Miraculously, you just see smile from the back from now just like, hit the object ball. He also made it. Not just like that, the cue ball yeah, landed perfectly in preparation for the green six ball, an indication that this was purely controlled action and was clearly intentional. Efren might call this luck, but this was magic and mystery combined <laughs> for those who witnessed this legendary history-making shot by Efren Bata, mm. the magician Reyes, the greatest pool player of all time. Go. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we will reveal how Efren Reyes made his way up to the US and how he stunned and made history not just in the American soil but throughout the pool world and beyond. The magician story. Stray TV. Let's get it. This is Lamar Wilson representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. And you can find us on Facebook. And when you do, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the like button. All right, I'm going to get right on down to this. Efren Reyes. I didn't know. And, Never heard of him. And, and, and now I won't be able to forget him. Yeah. The magician. Man, he was nice. He was really everything they said he was. And, you know, we heard a little bit of the backstory of him having to stand on the soda crates just so he could play and then being a young boy and just learning, hey, get to the bag. You know what I mean? It was a lot. But, man, when you started seeing some of those angles he was hitting and the shots he was making, yeah. and he started playing. Like, his defense game, like, it was crazy. You have a shot, then it'd be gone. Like, <laughs> he really was everything they say he is. And I'm glad we 
took the time to look at this and learn about Efren Bata Reyes. What do you think? I think it was uh, dope. I never heard of him before, but I'm glad I heard of him. Um, anytime I want to work on my pool game, you got to go look up what he's doing. That most stuff I probably won't be able to do, but some of the stuff I can pull off, and it was just dope. We learned about a new game, uh, pool with no pockets. Um, that's like a very, very difficult game. So if you could play that game, I'm pretty sure it makes um, regular uh, pool easy for you. But it was just dope. Um, we like to hear about underdog stories like this, people for coming from nothing um, and making it. And I thought it was a dope story, and I can't wait to get into more documentaries like that. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV, and I'm out.